Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the alpaca farms that supply yarns, roving, bats, locks, other spinning supplies, sweaters, shawls, kits, patterns, stuffed animals, project bags, a very wide variety of items. And I wanted to highlight the farm since we just recently had an alpaca day here at the store this past Saturday. If you happen to miss that event, we will be doing it again in September. So check out the Facebook page and the website so that you don't miss the next go around with these very adorable animals. Okay, so the alpaca farms are Whistler's Glen Alpaca that is in Hudson, Ohio, and Black Walnut Alpaca that is Vienna, Ohio. They have partnered together and do a lot of things with dyeing the yarns, uh, spinning uh, yarns into their art yarns, which some of the samples of the art yarns are here. Awesome colors. Some have beads, some have Angelina, which is the sparkly stuff. Some have pearls and beads. Um, just great, bumpy, fun yarn. You can make them into hats. Um, you can make them into a small cowl or scarf. Um, fun things to do. So they've been together for a few years now, probably more than that. I'm not exactly sure how many they've been together. Um, but they've been doing um, raising alpacas, um, going to alpaca shows, doing their fibers, the shearing, all of that, everything that's involved in an alpaca farm. So these two ladies do a really good job at their farms with their animals. And they are also the two women who are teaching our spinning classes here at the store. Um, we have beginners classes, which we just finished one. We will be doing another one on August 10th. It's a two week class. So stay tuned for that one. And then we have more advanced classes once you take the beginners class so that you can learn how to make all these different fun things that are hanging here. So it's it's been fun partnering with them. Um, I've learned a lot about alpacas and wools and what is roving, what is top, um, what's natural fibers, what are locks. And I'm still learning because I haven't even scratched the surface of knowing everything that is involved with these animals and the process of spinning, making, and dyeing yarns. So it has been fun with them. And I see a very good future with the two of them. Um, we're all making strides and we're learning and we're doing. And it's fun. Here's some of the, this is what they call cloud. These are fibers that have been cleaned and they're ready <clears throat> to be spun into yarn. Um, here's a couple of uh, styles of the alpaca socks. This here is our bird's nest bag. Awesome, awesome product. It is great for a gift. If you're going someplace as like a hostess gift, it's fantastic. If other gifts for any other occasion, it works great. Some of the project bags. Um, I know I have a lot of women that come into the store and they're like, look at the purses. Yep, big enough for a purse, but perfect for a project bag as well. And Kathy does all this work herself. She creates the bags, makes the flowers, felts them, puts them on, adds beads and buttons. And this one actually has an alpaca button for the closure. Very pretty. Some of the stuffed animals that are made out of the alpaca fibers very soft, fun, cute, 
cuddly, adorable, any other adjectives you want, you can use them. Um, nothing goes to waste. Those are eyeglass cases and um, small pouches for projects. We have some headbands. We also have samples of a lot of the patterns that are available through the farms. Um, their samples are knitted up. We have sweaters. We have ponchos. Now the ponchos are made on their felting machine and the material is then cut and it's it's made with alpaca fibers and yarns and anything else that they want to put in there and there's matching hats so any of the fabric that is left goes to make the project bags or the small pouches and the eyeglass cases so they don't waste anything and as a side note the bird's nest bags are actually made out of alpaca fibers that cannot be used for anything else and they put them inside of a netting and you hang it on a tree and the birds come and they take the fibers to line their nest. So it all goes back to nature. Nothing is wasted as I said. This is the roving and bats that we use for spinning yarn. These up here, this is natural colors. I just got the darker in but they're just so soft and awesome and they can be spun into some very nice yarns. Beautiful colors. These are the bats that are ready to be spun. And if you have questions on what any of these things are, you know, you can send an email. I'll answer the question the best I can. If I don't know the answer, I will ask. Um, but if you're interested in spinning, just as I said, keep a lookout for that next beginner's class. It is on August 10th. And the spinning wheels that we use are the Ashford spinning wheels. We have Kiwis. And we also have Country Spinner. And these are what we teach on. So they're easy to use. Um, we teach you the basics. And when you leave, you have some yarn that you can actually make into something for yourself or to give as a gift. So again, Whistler's Glen Alpaca and Black Walnut Alpaca Farms. Their products are in the store here at Longtail Knits. So if there's anything that you see that you like, come on in, check it out. And have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.